What's going on, everybody? Grunty43 here. I've been getting asked a lot, when is the Halo 2 E3 demo map coming out? We've been having the beta version of the map for like two months. When is the final version coming out? And, well, here's the answer. It's coming out in March. Okay, so be ready, guys. Next month, the map's coming out. It's going to be cool. I'll have a new trailer for it and everything. It'll be exactly like the beta trailer showcasing the map and the release date. Uh, if you guys haven't seen or played the map yet, go get it, guys. Just type in Halo 2 E3 Demo Beta, and it should come up. Um, so, yeah, go download it and go play it. Now, you're probably wondering, why does this have to be a video? Why does that one question have to be a whole entire video? Well, that's not it, guys. I also wanted to show some sneak peek images of the final version of the map. So I'm going to be having pre-alpha, beta, and then final images to compare the progression of the map. It's really cool to, to just look back and see it evolve over time. Now, there's actually something I wanted to talk about because I got many complaints about why is the map a Slayer map. It doesn't work that well. And there's many changes from the final to the beta that I did to tweak it out and make it just a bit better. Um, but originally, I mean, like, it wasn't meant for Slayer. Uh, it was, originally, it was scripted. Um, and all the events that happened in the Halo 2 E3 demo gameplay video were going to happen on this map. I was going to script everything to happen just like the demo. And I was building the map a lot and a lot and a lot. And I, I actually got a lot of stuff in there, but the problem was is I didn't have enough objects. In fact, I had to do jump cuts in the pre-alpha video, and just because I had to split the map into three parts. And I kept, belt, I kept building on it, though, um, and I was like, maybe I could just try. I, don't, I, like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, let's just keep building, and then let's delete objects that no one's going to see or no one's going to, you know notice and uh, let's just hope it gives us enough room because we still have to we still also have to script things and I kept building and it eventually became this it became this right here you guys this is this is what it looked like this is the alpha not the pre-alpha the alpha this was the map that had so many objects I had cop cars I had buildings flying drones a pelican I even had the Mombasa uh, space elevator in the background I had a Covenant carrier. It, it was it was awesome. And uh, the problem was is I didn't have enough objects to finish it. There were still holes in the ground and undetailed areas. And I had maxed out on objects. And I didn't want to delete things because I, I wanted it to look cool. And I wanted to also make it mix in with uh, new Mombasa from Halo 2. Mix in with the Halo 2 demo. That's why I could see Mombasa Bridge and the Space Elevator and the Covenant carrier. Because it, it was like a mixture between... The, no, the new Mombasa, and then the original new Mombasa, and it was, it was really cool. I loved the map, but the problem was, is there was not enough objects to script things and all that, and it was, uh, it was just not going to work, and so I had to convert the map into a Slayer map, and I had to delete so much stuff that it looked so plain. It looked like the pre-alpha looked like the final version compared to the beta. That's how much of a difference. I mean, you could see that through the photos. The buildings had to be deleted. A lot of objects had to be deleted and duplicated. And so that's why the map is just like the same all around. There was just so much stuff that it, I felt like I ruined the map. I didn't really have a choice though. And so the map went through some major downgrades in order to be, you know, to have enough objects to even make the map. And I had to convert it into Slayer. That was my only choice. I, I could not make the full-on map and have everything scripted because it would be too many objects. So that's the that's the reason why the map is a Slayer map. But I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are still excited for the map. I'm hoping that you guys will have a lot of fun on the Slayer version of the map. And, uh, you know, just enjoy how it is. You know, at least we still got the map. Uh, it might not be like how it was supposed to be in the, the alpha, how the alpha was like exact replica, but... At least it's close enough, and at least you can enjoy it and whatever. So anyways, that's it for you guys today. It was just a video to kind of update you guys on the progression of the map and also, you know, a little bit backstory of it and uh, also some photos of it evolving. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.
Oh yeah, and by the way guys, we'll be uploading a video tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Why am I uploading on a Tuesday? Uh, I have an announcement to make of my video shuttle. Um, uh, once again, um, but anyway, yeah.